Honda's approach with the CB brand has been gaining measurable traction in a segment that has been pretty much a monopoly for a hundred years. I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware of whom I'm talking about. <coughs> and as a matter of fact, the CB350 in the form of the Highness has been chewing on their loot. Now, nine months on, this is the new offering from Honda. This is the CB350 RS. Now you might be thinking that the moniker RS might be standing for Road Sport, Rally Sport, Race Sport. No, my friend, it is for Road Sailing. Just to refresh your memory, the CB350 RS is exactly the same motorcycle as the Highness. It only features some design changes to make it look like a more modern naked instead of a retro classic so that it can target a younger audience. These changes include a blacked out look instead of chrome, shorter front and rear fenders, sleeker turn signals, front fork boots, a bash plate and a new tuck and roll seat. The rear wheel is now a smaller 17 inch but the tire is now wider. Both tyres are now new tread pattern MRFs. The ergonomics have also been adjusted to allow for a sportier ride. The foot pegs are now placed further back and the handlebar has been lowered by 2mm. Everything else, the brakes, engine, suspension and chassis remains unchanged. When it comes to the looks, the RS has taken quite a lot of inspiration from the highness but everything has been designed to look a little less uh, boomer. <laughs> like in the LED headlamp used now get a matted and blacked out cover so as to the rear and front fenders talking about the fenders the fenders are new they are different pieces from the highness they are smaller and much prettier in my opinion you also get some front fork gaiters and in the rear you do get a very nice smart looking led strip right under the seat Overall, the bike looks really pretty and has quite a lot of presence. Believe me, the amount of people that have asked me, Bhaiya, ye se hai, is uncanny. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know all about the CB350 RS. But we wanted to test out the RS-ness, haha, <laughs> get it, of this new variant. So we decided to put it on a little handling course. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what is this lanky newbie dude going to be doing on track? What is he going to teach me? Well, fret not my friend, I actually have called upon a skilled rider with some skill and someone who can actually do justice to the bike. Some say that when the network is nice and strong, he's six feet tall. But today, as you can see, the network is not so nice over here, so he's just five feet six. <laughs> All we know is that we call him DK Bose. After our man DK Bose got comfortable with the bike and the track, we started to time his laps and mind you, these were the conditions. It was a hot Wednesday afternoon, the tyres were stock, factory fitted tyres with an off-roady type tread to them. There was almost a full tank with regular fuel, no special octanes or anything and our guy DK Bose weighs in at about 55 kgs. All good? Check out his flying lap.
that seems to be a decent enough time but we will keep on updating this leaderboard because we will be bringing more bikes and maybe even cars down to this track and keep a chart ready for your reference but let's hear a few words from Mr Bose on how the bike is at the limit so back from the track well i have to say this bike really did surprise me on the track especially over here on a small track where you know 100 to 200 cc bikes really shine over here so well this bike has roughly around 21 bhp and almost 30 newton meters of torque so well the torque is really quite usable not so much over here but in the city really well it's really well put over here you just playing around with first and second gear and you know the time board will soon come up and you'll we'll know how fast was i on the track with this bike well it it was almost as fast as a standard go kart that's available here at pune car drop so well other than that we did ride it over way here and as bhavneet said that it's more in front of an rs like road sport rally sport etc it's more like a road sailor it did sail over bad patches of roads very well and over here also on track it did well it did hold its own quite well compared to other competitors that might come on later in the future it hides its weight quite well it's not as nimble flexible or agile it's a small technical track over here so again there was a lot of effort that you needed to put into flip from one side to the other but on long flowing turns and corners especially on you know let's say if pune guys know it lavasa ambi valley this bike will shine very well on the corners over there the tires grip uh, well the suspension is a little bit on the softer side but then again it's a road sailor overall a really nice bike to ride a very easy bike to ride and again like you're going from you know like point a to point b your office college or anything as such does well everything is not hunky dory in the road sailor though uh the switch buttons are not honda's best and they have flipped the indicator with the horn for some reason which is quite confusing the other part is the rear seat when i'm talking about the rear seat is if you're single and you have a girlfriend or you are looking to get a girlfriend she'll fit in perfectly but if you are a lad and you've got to fit the boys all the boys don't all the boys don't fit so this is a single seater bike single seater and your girlfriend bike kind of uh situation here so please do not do tripsies anyway but you can't anyway in the cb350 rs apart from that there is no tachometer in an almost 2 and a half lakh rupee bike i don't understand why couldn't they just put another tachometer or even a digital tachometer in it little short coming but you would feel the difference overall 10000 rupees of a premium over the highness for the bike seem quite steep for four parts if you count them the rear fender front fender the fork gaiters and the bash plate however it is made by honda and the fit and finish on them is perfect yes you could go for an aftermarket bit on your highness and get them done for pretty much half the price but the fit and finish and the quality of these products are great overall the versatility of the bike really shines through in the city if you are a city dweller the bike does everything perfectly it's super nimble it's super fun and it's very simple to ride ringing it out as kiran said it is great and it is quite confidence inspiring however the 10000 rupee premium could be a yes or a no that's up to you what do you think about the cb350 rs do let us know in the comments down below please like share and subscribe to our channel get on instagram and follow us and turn your post notifications on thank you so much for watching this was bhavneet see you guys in the next one mcrae on the inside going to take it and sena sprint